Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video is on how to put badges on your blues. So, the only two badges that I have right now are this, the NRA Marksman badge, and then I have the GTM badge, which actually have the one with the star on top. Then you have your ribbons here, your nameplate. I have epaulets because I'm an officer, and then I have a cord over here. I have a video on how to do cords, and I'll leave that in the link below. So let's get started. So the regs say that your badges, and this is specifically for females, it is totally different for males, so if you need to know how to do that, just leave it comments below and I might do a video on it. Okay, you can see right here that my ground team badge is gonna go one half inch above my top ribbons, and it's gonna be center. So I find it pretty easy to use handy dandy little backers. So I have a big heavy duty cardboard, this is a pretty thick cardboard, and then I like to put another cardboard in between, so it's in between the ribbons on this side and the cardboard on this side because I feel like it makes it really sturdy and it looks really crisp, like it looks like one whole thing without having a huge thing of cardboard. So what I normally do is I just put the cardboard behind there, measure it out an inch, or half an inch, sorry, half an inch, so it's half an inch from this little bottom thing to there. So, right there, if I were to get a ruler and measure this, like where my finger is, that's half an inch. And it's center for females. Okay, then we come over here to where your nameplate is. Now, this one is really, really complicated because, I don't know how well you can see, but it's not a little, like, hooks with frogs. It's this little, whatever it's called. So this one you'll get a lot more leniency as to whether it's right or not, because mine is a little bit off right now. But once again, it is going to be one half inch above and centered. Now, see, mine's not completely centered, but it's pretty close. Now, if you were to have a model rocketry, it also would go, you'd center them both, or above your nameplate. And if you have wings, it would either go above or below your ground team badge, one half inch above the badge. See, and for females, where you put your ribbons and your nameplate is centered or one and one half inch above or below the first exposed button. So this button is my first exposed button. So you can go one and a half inch above or one half an inch below my first extent. So this is, I mean, it can be almost down to here. So as I get more ribbons and things, or if I get my aviation badges, then these are ribbons are just gonna have to come down. And then these always are parallel straight across. It's not really right now because I'm not wearing it. And actually, they need to become straight across when you're wearing that. So you need to keep that in mind when actually putting them on. Because if you put them on straight, a lot of the time when you put them on, they won't be straight. So your cord goes on the same side with your ribbons. These are pretty self-explanatory. If you have any other questions on how to wear your ribbons, badges, nameplate, anything blues, leave in the comments below. And please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!